So we love survival, crafting, base building, exploration games on this channel. It's been some of my favorite series of all time. And uh, this game right here is about to be one of the best or absolute worst things we've ever played. This is Grand Emprise. Ride dinosaurs, forge tools, sail dunes, build a colony, siege castles, automate and fly, mine underground, launch the moon, and build a Dyson Sphere. I'm not even sure what that means. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Let's just go ahead and, and hop into it. I, I hope this works out. Oh. oh, this is gorgeous. I hope this works out well, and I'm not sure what to ex- Oh my goodness, dude. Look at the water here. Okay. Gotta start collecting wood or something. What is this? Pick this up. Time trial device has been picked up. Press 1 to equip. Time trial device is damaged. Press G to view the tech tree. Oh, so this is going to be kind of like our, our storyline here. We're going to move down this. Just some rocks. Time trial device is damaged. A one-time emergency fix allows us to repair it using raw resources. Look around for rocks and left click to pick them up. 10 are required. So we want to pick up rocks. Beautiful. Just going to pick up a bunch of rocks here maybe pick up some extras just in case we're gonna need them later i can't get over how good this game looks this looks incredible you could punch things you could punch trees not getting any resources from that all right i'm just gonna pick up all the rocks we can we can grab never really know when you're traveling through time just how many rocks you're gonna need okay so we've got that equip it by pressing one and then we're gonna be able to fix it so we're gonna press i or v to open our inventory look at the bottom to see our hot bar and right click time travel device press repair okay so we can open up our inventory right click this repair it it's been repaired and now we should be able to use it we're time traveling to the next era i'm not oh oh i mean this is be are we in bora bora or something where is this fiji okay well we are moving forward. Do we want to see what our next thing is? It says, when hungry, gather berries from bushes to eat. Clip them in your hotbar, press the hotkey number. Find more small rocks and left click to pick them up. And then we're working towards dinosaur meat. All right, might be in some sort of a dinosaur era. We're gonna, oh my God, what? That's a T-Rex. Bro, what? <laughs> what is this game? There's two of them. Are they gonna eat me? There's some sort of a little raptor there. I'm gonna try to... Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm gonna have to find some some berries to be able to eat, I think. I'm really I'm kind of a little bit nervous about this situation. We've got this cool dash feature to be able to run. So might be able to get out of here if, if someone starts coming our oh, oh, oh. Starts coming our way. What do we have going on? So dinosaur meat. Throw rocks on a dinosaur to kill it, then harvest its meat by left clicking with a rock. Might just be best to go for a smaller one like a Utah Raptor. Press shift to dash in any direction. And also dash backwards, hold shift to sprint. Okay, so we can shift, we can sprint. We can dash backwards to avoid attacks. Works for me. So we're gonna wanna pick up as many rocks as possible. I don't wanna end up in a scenario where we don't have enough rocks to kill something. And I think that smaller dinosaur that we saw is a Utah Raptor. Looks like we might have one on the beach over here as well. Ooh, there's one right here. Okay, anybody else? <sighs> no, 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 what the? Fudge, back up, back up, back up. That's right, come back. He's almost dead, he's down. Oh God, are we good? I thought I heard someone near us. So we wanna, we wanna get this meat. We're just attacking his carcass and we got meat, let's go. I feel like we really need to keep our head on a swivel here. We've got some triceratops over there. All right, we're, we're good to go so far so we can bring this up, see what we've got going on. Taming dinosaurs, find a Utah Raptor, the smaller one, throw meat on it. It'll start liking you and once it eats enough, it will tame and let you ride it. So I, I killed a Utah Raptor and now I'm gonna tame it by feeding it itself. I guess, I guess that works. Are you friendly here or are you mean? You're a vegetarian, right? I'm pretty sure. All right, it's gonna try to go around you. We've got a, is this a Utah Raptor right here? He looks a little bit different. What is this? What is this? What is this? Is this a Utah Raptor? I, I'm not sure. I'm gonna... That's a Carnotaurus. Yep, doesn't seem responsive to this food. Perhaps, a, okay, yep. I'm running, I'm just running. I'm just, uh, he's, he's following. All right, I'm just gonna keep shift jumping. I knew that wasn't a Utah Raptor, dude. It didn't look like a Raptor. He's still following. Okay, this is, is quickly becoming an issue. We might, we might have to pop off. 
We might have to pop off right now. He's slow in the water. Woo! Maybe not. When he's chasing us. Come on. I love how they run away when they start getting weak. That's right, baby. What do you want? 1v1, you're done, son. Right, I'm going to take a lot more meat, and hopefully we're going to be able to fully tame a, uh, a Utah Raptor when we get the chance. I'm going to pick up some more rocks, too. Out here fighting dinosaurs with rocks. I think this is about the, the hardest thing we could start with, but it's, it's going to be fine. Can you imagine having to do this in real life? There he is. That's what I'm talking about. All right, come here, little buddy. You're a Utah Raptor, right? Oh, yeah, look at that little hairdo. Hey, man, you want some food? Here you go. Oh, the orange is his like me. There's trees falling in the background. So he's been tamed. He's a friendly one. Oh, we can ride him. Oh, this. Oh, <laughs> okay. I could use some clothes, but this is great. All right. We started with rocks and now we've got a pet dinosaur. What even is this game? Do we have Punisher undies on like what what is even happening all right what's next so ancient cave a time rift has been detected in an ancient cave nearby it's been marked on your screen so that's where we want to go i also wouldn't mind finding some berries which i think do i, s I see a lot of bushes over here i see flowers i wouldn't mind finding some berries now will you fight will you fight other things let's go let's go Let's go. Eat him up. Eat him up. He's running. He's scared. Got him. Oh, there's another one. How are we looking? Shoot. Hold on. Looks like we were taking some damage there. We, we are a little bit red. Can he eat the raptor to help him out? Come on. Come on. Come on. Woo! Got them both. How do we get off of this thing? Are we good to go? Are you good? Can I give you food to heal you? Oh, it just heals over time. Okay. So we could grab some more dinosaur meat in case we wanted it. Ooh. Yeah, he's he's slowly healing up over time. He took down two, though. I'll, I'll take that all day. I'm going to get some extra meat just in case we need it, in case we come across anybody else. I want to grab some berries, though. I feel like berries are important. We've got our life bars over on the right. We've got our stamina, our... Oh, my God! What the fudge, bro? Hey! Hold on. Just keep running. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is really not good. This is really not good. Where's our friendly at? You got my lightweight, bro? Utah Raptor, come here. I need your help. I need your help. Or I can sit right here. It looks like he might be stuck. He's running away now. I don't know if we're getting XP for taking these guys out, but might as well, right? Unless you want the same fate, I suggest you stay over there. All right, we're going to go get some berries because we are getting hungry and I, I think we're going to start losing health in that case. I'm going to hop on the Utah Raptor. We're going to keep him as backup. Oh, this is crazy. So we can ride him. We can enable wandering. I'm going to disable wandering. I'm going to say follow. He's following us and he's currently set on attack if attacked. So if we get attacked, he's going to have our back. That's solid. Look at the little guy swimming to us. That's solid. All right, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better now. We got to go find some berries. Unless we can eat dinosaur meat. Can we eat this? I don't think we can eat this. Where would you find berries? I'm gonna start trying to make our way towards this cave. But food is definitely a problem here. Holy sh... All right, I'm gonna try to finesse this. Oh my God! Utah Raptor, where are you? I died and then he, he finally starts attacking him. Are you serious? We've lost everything. It's fine. I don't... Oh, we can take our stuff back. Beautiful. Okay. You, you got to stick with me. We got to stick together, okay? There's T-Rexes out here. It's really not a good situation. Just going to keep myself down here on this beach. We're going to be fine. Let's go try to get to this cave and maybe potentially think about getting out of this era. I don't even see... I don't see the bushes we're talking about, so... If we can't find berries, that's not on me. It's like we're going to have to think about going into the scary jungle here. I'm not seeing much to be concerned about. Beautiful pond here. I don't know if we're going to be able to go. We're probably going to have to go around the other way. Dude, this is just insane. Look at this game. Genuinely don't understand how we haven't seen a, a berry thing yet. Oh, another Tricera up here. You're, you're friendly. I like you. Into the jungles we go, and here's our cave, huh? Gonna be able to make our way through in here. 
Dude, what is this game? We found another time rift. You ready, Utah Raptor? Can I ride you in there? Can I take you with me? We're about to find out. You can't enter the rift while riding. Okay, well, we found out very quickly. Into the black hole we go. I don't really understand what's going on, but this is great so far. Technology ancient cave complete. Let's see. Time rift has been detected in ancient cave. Explore the ancient temple at this unknown time period to find what could recharge your time travel device, then time travel to the primitive era. So we've got a mysterious cave here that we've discovered. Ooh, I'm gonna imagine in all of my experience in games and movies that we wanna follow this golden orb. I'm also really tempted to go back this way and see what, oh, the heck is that thing? I thought that was a person at first. So we're gonna follow the orb and hope for the best. Did I lose him? He's up there. For an indie game, this is absolutely insane. It is so beautiful. Got a dinosaur fossil over here. And some sort of a gemstone and a fire. Crystal shard. Bro, what is going on? Imagining these are pretty important. Just gonna do our due diligence, make sure we're... Venturing around. Looks like we've got Egypt in here. To delete a structure, open the build menu, select any structure, then look at the structure you want to destroy and press X. So there is some base building to this. I'm going to check out what's over here. That looks like a nuclear reactor. I think I saw the orb down at the other side of the thing. I'm going to try to collect as many of these shards as possible. I'm imagining these crystal shards are going to end up being important. Glowing pretty. Kind of have to... Go off the beaten path to be able to find them. I'm not sure what it was talking about trying to delete things in the building mode. We could have potentially missed something back there, but we're just going to keep pushing forward. Kind of getting a little bit lost at this point, but I guess we're okay. Another crystal shard down here. Is that wind? Or is that an animal that I'm hearing screeching at us? Dude, what is going on? Is this a... An old naval ship or something? I saw an airplane over there, an old school airplane. I feel like this is showing us all the um, all the eras that we're gonna end up going through eventually in this game. What is this, like an old aircraft carrier? We've got space over there. There are a lot of secrets to uncover here. I think I just saw a hint of blue over here, maybe not. Just kind of exploring everything. Can we jump? What in the world? I don't think we're supposed to go that way yet. I see another shard right there. I'm not ready to go yet. I kind of want to explore this. Oh, wait, he's taking me that way. Why does this look like a portal? Can I grab it? Not a portal. All right. Just going to keep following our little firefly, buddy. Trusting everything we have in him. Charge the time travel device. Crystal shards used to fully recharge the time travel device. Use it to time travel to the primitive era. Are we done? Is there nothing else we want here? So now that we have these guys powered up, I think, ooh, holding right click to see the destinations. We can go to the dinosaur era or the primitive era. Oh, there it is. You got to click. Okay. So we, our, our device, we're charging it on those little crystals and that's going to open up new eras for us to be able to go. New unlocks, useful for this era. Open the tech tree to see what to do next. Hold tab to access the build menu. If you didn't like the way the dash and sprint controls work so far, you can enable an alternative method in the settings. Technology, mysterious temple complete. Okay. Oh, look at this tech tree. So we've got big rocks that can lead to logs. Can also lead to fiber. We can get a stone crafting table, tools and weapons, bone, raw animal meat, cozy campfire planks. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, so the game is, is really opening up here. So I'm imagining we take these stones and can we hit, we cannot hit trees. How do we, do we have to hit stuff that's already fallen? Do we have to just pick stuff up? I love that we're taking technology from previous eras and using it here. Me strong man, me want hit, hit tree with rock. No. Oh, we've got to use a small rock to hit big rocks. There's got to be bigger rocks around here, huh? So we're collecting large rocks now. I mean, that makes sense. You know, rocks from this era are definitely bigger than the rocks from the dinosaur era. We all know that we had bigger rocks at this point in time. And then it'll, then with, with 
that we've learned that we can punch tre <laughs> trees to be able to unlock logs. Don't mind me. Just get my Minecraft on. Oh my goodness, dude. This game is just... The beauty is, is still insane to me. We're out of food. We're taking damage. Shoot, this is getting bad. Collect fiber from bushes. Left click with your hands. Okay. So bushes, bushes like these. Beautiful. Berries. We got berries. We have berries here. We could put this on six and then we can eat these quickly to be able to bring our health back up at least a little bit. So we want to search around in bushes for berries. Give me all the bushes here. We need all the berries. At least we're finally eating. And we saw there was animal meat on there too. So eventually we're going to be able to get some animal meat. We're going to be able to self-sustain. We get some more berries here. feel like a diet of only berries is probably not going to be good for our uh, our bowel movements. But it's, it's what we have available to us right now. So we just got to run with it. I also think we're going to have to get rid of our dinosaur meat. So it says... Um, Throw it at a small dinosaur, such as a Utah Raptor to tame and ride it. Too strong to be edible for humans. So I'm going to say, how do we, how do we drop things? Drop. I'm going to drop at least two of those. I just don't think they're really necessary. I'll throw this in our inventory, bring our berries down. We've got fiber. We've got logs. We've got all the extra crystal shards that we didn't really need, but we got anyway. Okay, I think we've got a good number of bushes. I'll get one last one right here. The ability to be able to zoom around like that is pretty cool. So let's just eat a bunch of berries. That's going to get our health back full, and we're going to see what we can do next. We want to uh, hold tab for the build menu. Left click and select the stone crafting table to build it. So we've got our, got our build menu here, stone crafting table. We just needed rock to be able to build this. Construct it with a rock. So we're building this bad boy, 80%. There it is. Now we've got access to crafting. We can get small stone tools and weapons. Hunt animals and use a stone hatchet to harvest their meat. Don't forget to dash backwards to avoid getting hit. So we're going to go into our crafting here. I'm going to say let's... We can get ourselves a stone pickaxe. This is sick. All right, so we've got that. We've got a hatchet. We need more logs for a hatchet. And then we need more logs for a spear. So pardon me while I... Go punch some trees. I love that we're losing health while punching trees too, but we gain it back fast enough that it doesn't really matter. We do have to be a little bit careful. Sometimes it's it's getting close. We're down to like 10% health there. So let's make sure we don't kill ourselves. We already died once. Hopefully never again, but we should have enough logs after this one. So back to our crafting table here. We're going to get ourselves a nice little axe. I would imagine the axe is, is going to do well for us. For chopping down trees instead of using our hands and then we can also get this spear which we need more rock so if we punch rock with the rock we should earn it craft this spear here and all of a sudden we actually have some tools the world is our oyster with our axe we can chop down trees beautiful a lot better than using our hands if we find some rock we can use our pickaxe to be able to collect rock and then with our spear, it looks like there's a boar over here. Let me see if I can go get in his business. We gotta be careful. This is kind of a woolly mammoth looking boar. Aya! Come on, baby! Get a side dash. Woo! And I think we got him. You aren't gonna swim away from me, sir. I'm sorry. I really feel bad about this, but we got it. So then we take our axe. And we can get our animal meat. We got eight animal meat right there. Back at our campsite here. See what we're working on. Bone, find a caveman camp, then kill or be killed. So we're going to have to fight cavemen. Cozy campfire, cook raw animal meat for food. Can't live forever on berries, or can we? And then we've got planks. Build a wooden cutting table to process logs into planks. How do we make the campfire, though? If I bring... Ooh, campfire. We need rock, log, and fiber. We've already got most of this. Let's just get a little bit more rock. I never know which... This looks like a good rock formation here. Gonna go back to camp. So we're gonna have to go fight other cavemen? I mean, I, I'm not really stoked on that, but I guess it's a kill or be killed world out here. We got our campfire. We're gonna want to construct this with a, a pickaxe. All right, just hit it like this. And we can cook our raw animal meat. I'm gonna cook a bunch of it here before it ends up going bad. Dude, this... This is pretty cool. This, I mean, this is well done so far. I, I really, I love, what? That's a woolly mammoth over there. No wonder the boars looked so insane. Are these done yet? The graphics here are just truly what are, are blowing me away. I wouldn't say this is the most unique game of all time. It's kind of a lot of assets and a lot of ideas stolen from other games, but it's, 
It's pretty cool. We could build a torch. We could build a wooden cutting table. We're going to need some more logs. All right. I guess while this is cooking, we can go cut down some more trees. Holy sh... Are you freaking kidding me? That's a dinosaur. I thought I heard something big moving around. I'm going to try to keep an eye on him. I didn't know we had giant crocodiles to deal with. To say I'm a little bit scared is, is an understatement here. I don't... I mean, he's he's been around. He, he's what survived of the other era that we were just in. I don't think our little stone spear is going to do much against him. I'm hoping he doesn't smell this meat or something, but it looks like we're done here. What in the world? Do these things move so loudly? Take all this cooked meat here. We've got a little bit more raw meat that we can cook as well. And now we've got this cooked meat. We can throw this on our number pad. And that is going to be a much more sustaining way to live gonna build a uh, a wood cutting table here this is gonna be like our little crafting area i think we're gonna want with our pickaxe nicely done we can add two logs hit it with the hatchet and then you could take planks and a lot of things moving around and i just really don't like it so this is we, we you know add logs from trees we turn them into planks on our table here and then with that we're gonna be able to make a torch we're gonna be able to make a shelter we're gonna be able to make a basket Okay. You can warp back to your shelter anytime using the time travel device. Additionally, a constant screen marker and a respawn spot in case of unfortunate death. I'm going to imagine that's a pretty important thing here based on what we're seeing around the area. So I'm just going to place a shelter here. Let's get our pickaxe out. Construct that bad boy. And look at that. We've got a place to sleep, a place to call home. We now have a marker on our, uh, our HUD at all times. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is going pretty well so far. So uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, this game seems... I, I, should we... I kind of want to try it. Can we can we pick a fight with a mammoth? Or was this a really bad idea? I kind of feel like we should be able to take him down. He's kind of awkwardly on the hill right here. I mean, these guys back in the day were the, the main source of, of meat, right? He's running away already. I would have thought he would have put up a better fight than that. But my goodness. All right. Took down a mammoth. Let me get all the... He only gave us six meat. The boar gave us more meat than he did. So we mainly need to focus on, on working down this tree. That's how we progress. We're going to find a caveman camp and kill or be killed. We want to build a wooden bamboo house. We can make a basket to store items through the river. It's not unlocked yet. We're going to have to do the basket first. I think we have access to that. Oh, here's our houses. Shelter torch. Okay. We can do a simple house with fiber and planks it looks like it's just kind of whichever one we prefer let's uh let's get a couple more planks and a couple more fiber fiber we just get from these trees here so now we should be able to build do we like three one one's got kind of an out Ooh, four looks sick i'm gonna go with simple house four with kind of a little a little overhang over the water just a couple swings of our pickaxe and we are gonna have ourselves a nice bamboo hut on the riverside look at this not a bad view as long as those crocodiles stay out of it all right so we've got that now we need to make the bat where did i see the baskets the baskets were somewhere was it on here in the crafting no it wasn't on here oh basket right here we need planks and fiber okay a little bit more fiber and a bunch more planks we can keep throwing logs down and Getting these things made. So, plenty of berries, too, to be able to fill up our health. All right, so I think we should have enough here. We've got our basket. So, this is going to be kind of like a storage box, I assume. I'm just going to put it right here. We're going to be able to construct this thing, and then this should act as an inventory. So, anything we're not using, like these planks or this dinosaur meat or whatever else, we're going to be able to throw in there, and we can have that saved for later. But that should unlock our next section of the skill tree here. Build a boat to traverse the river into the ocean. Go back to the dinosaur era and kill and harvest dinosaurs with a stone hatchet to get dinosaur hide. Craft three water skins and stone crafting table to equip them near water to refill. We need salt. We need salted dinosaur hide, which we're going to make leather to make leather armor. Then we're going to make iron tools. We're going to be able to upgrade our time travel. We're going to be able to go sands. Dude, this is ridiculous. The, the, the way this is all linking together. The boat is going to take some more planks. What in the f Fudge is that? Why are there still scary things spawning in that I'm not ready for? Please stop. I that, a giant a giant bear. That's the biggest bear I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm just going to stay over here. 
on my little peninsula. Leave me alone. Don't come over here. I don't have anything. He probably smells the meat we had cooking on the fire. Okay, we're, we're just going to quickly build a boat and hopefully get the heck out of here. Going to need a whole bunch of logs here to be able to make planks with. I'm curious if we're going to have to go see like this here, the bone. Are we going to need this later on down here? Or are we good to to be friendly and, and not kill people? Yeah, you know, butterfly effect. You never really know what's going to happen. We could be killing future ancestors if we go and take on a uh, another group of, of humans. Two hits with the axe, two taps of the E, and we can just make ourselves a little assembly line of planks here. So we're overweight, we can't sprint. Obviously we took a, a bunch of items there, so I'm gonna drop all of our, lo oh, we have a ton of planks already. So now we're gonna be able to build this boat river boat we needed 30 planks we've got those we could put this in the river oh and there she is oh my goodness the water physics that is ridiculous so we're gonna throw our extra planks in here i don't think we need these right now i guess we probably could throw our little gemstones and whatever other extras so this is our our boat we can oh no way, dude. This is epic. All right. So now our objective, it said dinosaur hide, salt. Use your boat to follow a river into the ocean. You'll find salt where a river intersects. Put items you don't need in a basket to save weight. Don't forget to build a shelter to be able to warp back. Interesting. We've also got these water skins that we might want to think about. But uh, for right now, we're going to try to follow this to the ocean. I mean, do we see a direction that we want to go or are we just going to pick a direction and go for it that works for me hopefully we don't see any of those bear around here who knows what kind of swamp river monsters we're going to find as well dude this is so pretty i can't get over the graphics i mean obviously the character model is not great but look at that look at the water physics this is insane i feel like we're moving at breakneck speed like we're, we're paddling fast but i mean just in general like we're, we're time traveling eras we're unlocking new things we're like quickly learning and developing our our inventory here i like that it's you know it's it's not as grindy as i thought it was gonna be we gotta find the ocean so we're just gonna we're gonna keep following it gotta watch out for the, the grass here you get stuck i mean this is just this is so beautiful. This is just so beautiful. We've got some berries to munch on for our try. Oh, there's another bear there and the woolly mammoth. I would imagine they're not going to attack us in the boat, right? I hope. Might just be wishful thinking, but it might, might be right. Looks like we might be opening up to the ocean up here. I don't see any mountains or anything. Yeah, we've opened up. Are these... Where the river meets the... Oh, oh, there's a caveman set up too. All right, boys. It's time to meet your maker. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, these guys are actually maybe a little strong. It looks like they might be hitting each other though. We got to be careful. Holy cow. Okay. I love it when they run. He's dead. His buddy's charging up a little bit. We got the, the bone tech complete. Ooh. Got him. Can I loot these guys? Can I can I be a cannibal? I can't attack them. What's our thing say? Find a caveman camp, kill or be killed. That's that's it. So this was their camp here. Can we collect their bones or anything? I don't can we attack them? I can't harvest them. Can I can I pick them up? Can I poke them with a stick? I'm not really seeing much. Can I pickaxe them? <laughs> okay. I think these white things must be the salt. Are these salt deposits? Nicely done. Not sure how much we need. We're getting two at a time here. Just going to grab as much as we can. So it wanted us to kill those cavemen just for the heck of it. There was no rhyme or reason to it. There was no benefit. We didn't unlock anything. They're just, they're just dead, unfortunately. Well, it's a dog eat dog world out here. We're all just trying to survive. Oh, what the fudge? No. Look at him up there on his rock. No, dude. I'm just trying to get some salt. Have some manners. What the? Oh my god. He's still coming after us! It looks like he doesn't cross rivers though. Interesting. Okay. We've got a mammoth. We've got boar. Will boar attack us if we don't attack them? I hope not. No, nope, looks like they're friendly. Okay. The crocs will will attack. The mammoth and the boar are our friends. 50 salts. 
will be just enough. Let me check our inventory here. We're at 38, so we're gonna have to get some more, and I'm hoping we don't run into any more crocs in the process. Those things truly are dinosaurs, man. They are the creme de la creme when it comes to uh, surviving over time. Those things have, have hardly changed in hundreds of millions of years, so I don't, I don't wanna mess with them now. I didn't wanna mess with them then. He's right there. Look at that big, ugly son of a gun. Yes, that's right, I'm talking about you. If he chased us over the water, it would it would be a real problem. How did he looks like a rock himself? Are we good? How good is their hearing? Yep. Um. No, thank you. I'm going back this way. Okay. So we've got 72 salt. I know we can warp back to our base. That's why we put down our thing. Can I pick up to reconstruct? We got 30 planks back. Let's go. And then I think we can use this. How do we? It said we could. Do we just warp to the... Oh, look at that. It puts us right back on top of our little base here. And now if we want, we could just reconstruct the riverboat real quick. And we've got our boat back. And we can we can just leave it right here for now. Hopefully it doesn't float away. Okay, so we've got our salt. We need to go get dinosaur hide. We need to get water skins. Craft three water skins in the stone crafting table and equip them near water to fill them. So if we check this, water skins are going to take dinosaur hide. We've got to go back. Back in time to the dinosaur era. But we've got tools now, so we're gonna be able to pop back and forth, and ideally, we're gonna have an easier time killing these guys. I think we attack them with our spear. Don't you run away from me. He's down, and then we use our hatchet to be able to get dinosaur hide. We got five from him off the bat. Not bad. Let's try to get a couple more. I'm wondering if this is where we might want to think about attacking Triceratops. Got to be careful because we do have the T-Rexes around here. I kind of like it out on the beach here. That's nice. And I also love that we can travel whenever we want. So if we get in a sticky situation, could we immediately use our time travel thing and, and go back to primitive where we know it's going to be a bit safer? Like this, this is sick. I'm going to try a Triceratops. I feel bad. You're a friend. But everyone has their needs. I'm sorry to do it to you. We gotta watch our. Oh, oh, we're we're getting we're getting got. In a bad way. We're gonna die. Are you freaking kidding me? Spawn around the death location, please. Ooh, that is kind of OP. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna take all of our stuff back, and we're gonna get back after it. Let's go. Stay behind him. Hey, you got that big booty. He can't even see me. Come on. Oh, I can't catch him. He's going to res respawn health. No. Why can't I catch him? Dude, he's going to have... He's going to have all of it. Come on. Come on. I think... Can I throw these? Come on! Kill him with a rock, Trev! Are you kidding me? He's done. Oh, my goodness. Get our axe out. We're gonna get 10 off of him. Honestly, not worth it. We're gonna keep dying. Let's focus on the little guys. Can we mine for rock? Rocks here are too strong for us to mine with non-industrial equipment. Interesting. I see how this is working. So we're gonna be going forward and back in time. We're gonna be learning new technology. We're gonna be developing new tools and stuff that we can use. Who goes there? I heard something. Oh, what's up? But yeah, we're gonna be able to, we're gonna get these tools. Can I get him? That we're going to be able to use in previous time periods to be able to unlock more equipment. And, and you know, it's going to be kind of a, a full round robin thing here. He's kind of stuck in the trees here, but I don't mind that. We need all the hide we can get. Honestly, what we could do is get our Utah Raptor friend to help us attack one of these guys. Might not be a bad idea. We don't have any dinosaur meat, though. We're going to need a rock to be able to get dinosaur meat. We need to kill one of these guys. We're going to use our rock to mine meat off of them, just like we did the first time. We got another Utah Raptor here. We're going to feed him. And then we're going to use him to farm. I'm going to say, follow me. We're going to use him to farm other dinos. You with me? He's a little bit slower than we are, but if we play our cards right here, we should have a 2v1. We should be able to take him down, no problem. You coming? It's gonna be a big task for us. You ready? I'm gonna get on his butt. Come on, help me out here. Are you helping? I mean, we pretty much just killed him by ourselves, but hey, I, I do appreciate the help at least a little bit. Come on, we gotta go get him. Let's go. 
I think there might have been a T-Rex on the other side of the island, so I'm a little bit nervous here, but get him, get him, get him. He's attacking. Let's go! We got him. Oh, there's a Carno, actually. That could work out in our favor. Whoop! Not today. Just absolutely wailing on these fools. Uh-huh. Yep, running away now. Interesting how that works out, huh? Real quick change of events. I'm going to take all your high. We got times 10 on the Carno right there. We're going to get times 10 on the Triceratops, and I think we should be good to go back home. Times 10. Beautiful. So we've got uh, we've got 40 hide. It said we should collect 30. I'm just going to grab our thing. We're going to go back to our primitive era, and we are going to spawn in, I hope, right at our base. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully our Utah Raptor isn't sad because we straight up turned him into a pet and then left him there to die. So um, hopefully he can fend for himself. But we're looking pretty good here. So now we're going to want to make water skins. We're going to want to make salted dinosaur hide. I'm assuming that's going to be on this because we've got our salt and our hot. We need filled water skins. So I'm going to make, it said three, right? We're going to make three. If we put this on eight, we filled three water skins. There we go. So these are filled now. We're going to put that back here and then we can come back to our crafting table. We're going to be able to make salted dinosaur hide. We've made three of those. And then that should unlock the next thing on our skill tree, leather. Build a drying rack to dry the salted hide into dinosaur leather. So the drying rack is going to take planks and fiber. We have quite a few planks. I think we need a little bit more fiber here. Drag our planks over from before. So we should be more than good to go. I'm going to put this over near our crafting area. We're going to build a drying rack. It's a, a big boy here. I guess we can just put it right like that. Then we're going to want to use our pickaxe be able to craft it. Now from here, we're going to be able to craft some dinosaur leather from three dinosaur salted hides. Got to wait on this thing to fit it. Look at that. Using the warmth of the sun and our, our ropes here. So we've got this and then that's going to lead to we can make leather armor and eventually we're going to explore the irons to find iron ore. Get 16, come back later with an iron pickaxe to mine more faster. Okay, so leather armor. I'm assuming is that going to be over here? Here. Ah, okay. We need two dinosaur leather and fiber to be able to make the leather armor. So we're going to make a second dinosaur leather here. That finishes up. We've got two. I mean, we, we could make we could make a third one just in case. And then we can we can take that and use that. Wait. Oh, we got to take the items, I guess. So we've got three dinosaur leather now. Can we make another one? No. We're going to we're going to take these, put these in our inventory. And then from there, we're going to be able to make this dinosaur leather chest plate, which is going to go on our body and our armor is comp Is there a way to go third person? Is there a second camera view or something? I'm not sure. I could see our health. I'm assuming our, our health went up or I'm, I, I don't know how that works, but all right. So we got the leather armor and now we're going to want to go find some iron to be able to make some iron tools to be able to move into our next era. So we're the mountains to find iron ore, get just 16. We can come back later with a pickaxe to get it faster. And um, it looks like there's iron up there on top of that mountain there. So we're just gonna head that way. We're gonna bring our handy dandy stone pickaxe. It's time to upgrade our tools, upgrade our life. And hopefully we don't run into anything scary along the way. We probably could have brought the boat. The boat is one of our faster methods of travel. We also tend to stay away from the creepy crawlies, but, um... I mean, it feels good to be back. This game is, is absolutely ridiculous. It's a ton of fun. Never really know what to expect. I'm gonna get some rock here as well, just for the heck of it. We are gonna be able to warp back to our base, so it doesn't matter if we're over-encumbered. Can I walk up the mountains here? Shoot, this is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna have to find a way up the mountains. I'm assuming this is... Dude, this game is just... I know I say it a bunch, but it is so pretty. This has to be iron, right? These iron deposits right here. It's a different color. Iron ore. Technology is complete. Honestly, I feel like our, our stone axe is pretty good. I'm not even going to come back. I'm going to get more than 16 because we're, we're obviously going to need more than that eventually. So if we're here, we're here. That way we won't have to come back. We can be a bit more efficient with it so we're gonna get everything that we can get here knowing this game i have no clue 
what we're going to find up here at the top of the mountain. If it was an abominable snowman or something, I would not be surprised at all. Just look at this, man. Oh, my goodness. Okay, some of the spots are a little bit sketchy. It doesn't really... Oh, we're, we're out of food and we're taking damage. We should be fine, right? We should... Oh, we have nothing in our inventory. What is going on? I think we dumped everything in baskets to get rid of our... our over encumberedness so we're gonna have to go fix that here in a second just gonna try to get every last bit that we can get come on get up there man the the rift in time and space is the all right we're, we're just gonna we're gonna go back to our uh, our primitive era back to our base and i think we have food in here we've got a ton of berries and even some chicken next up we're gonna want to make some metal ingots build a furnace and go through the process of heating ore into iron ingots so we have another thing that we're going to be able to use. We need rocks, planks, fiber, and dinosaur leather. I think we have most of that except for dinosaur leather. We only have one. I'm going to drop all of our iron ore and anything else that we're going to want to keep. I guess we'll keep our food here as well. And then we're going to go back to the dinosaur era. We're going to have to kill some dinos and make some more leather. Be able to make a furnace to be able to make ingots really hate to say it but we are looking for uh smaller utah raptors here just gonna wail on these guys they're potentially our friends but right now we are enemies unfortunately take him down then we're gonna be able to use our axe to be able to collect some hide so another one over there but i'm not gonna be messing with him next to the t-rex so maybe we go this way needs oh here's a small boy right here I'm sorry, man. I like you guys. You've been a huge help to me leading up to this point. Oh, he's he's kind of getting us here. Got him. Beautiful. All right. Harvest him up real quick. Really, it's pretty helpful to have some rocks to be able to throw at these guys from a distance. Do a little little bit of damage early. Can start, start things off with a little bit of damage and then... Oop, oop, wrong thing. Then come in with our, our spear. Woo! He's dead, but we got a T-Rex right next to him. Oh my God. Okay. We're going to have to, I'm going to eat really quick. We're going to have to be quick and silent about this. Come on. Just take him, take him, take him. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Five. Run the heck away. Oh my, all right. We should be good. I'm just going to use our, our thing. We're going to go back to the primitive era. Whoo. The ability to just instantly phase out of there is, is so nice. So now to be able to use our tanner, we're going to want our mole skins, right? We're going to want our water skins. We're going to have to fill those up. And then we're also going to need salt in our inventory. So let me one, two, and three. Then we should be able to come over to our tanner here. And we're going to be able to craft dinosaur leather. Wait, do we need to, we need to do salted dinosaur hide first. So that has the water skin, the hide, and the salt. It's going to keep refilling these water skins here. Get a little production line going. I'm going to be able to continue making these. While that's going, we can keep refilling up. Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get a full a full setup, a full armor setup of, of leather here. We've got seven salted hides now. We've got one normal hide. Let's see if that's going to be enough. We want to make some more leather. So we're going to be able to make seven dinosaur leathers. Let's drop everything that we don't need back in here just so we don't end up dying and losing it somehow. To make this furnace, we needed rock, planks, fiber. Got plenty of planks here, plenty of fiber here. I'm going to say let's run out and try to see if we can find a little bit of rock. I hear something big over on our, our left right there. I don't, I don't like that at all. I hate the big footsteps, dude. I feel like rock is actually kind of hard to come by at times. I say that and then we get a whole bunch here, but some sometimes like rocks like this, they won't they won't actually hit. But we got that there. Beautiful. All right, found the mother load. You know what? I feel kind of bad, but I do feel like eventually we're going to have to get some more food. So if he's here, we might as well take him out. If you just stay around on the back side of him, he there is nothing he can do. He really really struggles. I fit like imagine back in the day when big groups of of humans would attack these guys and tie them up and poke them with spears like that would be a heck of a way to go these big gentle giants got six raw meat we're gonna head back to camp it's a good day put this meat on the barbie here get that set up for dinner later and then we're gonna be able to make our furnace right here i would think next to our uh next to our fire pit we can construct this thing and now this is gonna let us melt down that iron ore to turn it into iron ingots to be able to make iron oh we can add logs and we can add four is it working i don't see that anything is fired up oh here you got to push the, the air into it and it heats it up and then boom she starts melting down are we gonna 
Oh, let's pour filled water skin. All right, we've got those over here. Gonna try to organize all of our things. So these are our crafting materials in here. Let me get the unfilled water skin. Fill this guy up. I love that there's a process to this. It's not just straight up put it on it and then leave. Where do we pour the filled water skin? Maybe in here? Left click to, to pour it. Ah, okay. And then we can add logs. It's kind of unfortunate because logs are, are very heavy in our inventory here, but we can add a couple of logs. We can add four iron ore. We can push this bellow and then we can take the, um, the what's it called once it's done, we can fill this up. We already have two others filled in our inventory. We can pour that on there. Got an iron ingot, add a couple logs, add the ore, push the bellow, fill this up, and then we can pour it on there when she's ready to go. Sweet. So that's only making an iron ingot at a time. This this is a very intricate process, but it's it's gonna be worth it in the end when we can make some iron magic. Log, log, iron, bellow. Pour some water on it. We got some iron. It's it's that easy, baby. Like I said, the fact this is a whole process and you have to like actually interact with it. And I guess I'm ki kind of learning how to make iron. Uh, obviously, it's it's a bit oversimplified here, but it's not like just yeah, put some iron in here and it's gonna make it. You actually have to. You know, mess about a bit. Okay, so we've got 12 iron ingots here. I'm hoping that's gonna be enough for, uh, we gotta make an iron anvil for crafting and forging iron equipment. So we're gonna bring that back over here instead of our stone table. We're now gonna have an iron anvil, which is gonna take two ingots and 10 rock. Set this guy up right here. Then we're gonna wanna make it with our stone pickaxe. I don't know if stone's gonna do much against iron, but this is good. Now we can access our crafting and we're gonna be able to make an iron pickaxe, which takes ingots and logs. Axe takes ingots and logs. And then a spear takes ingots and logs. And we've got 10. We're gonna be able to make all three of these. Let's just go get some logs. This is fantastic, baby. We completely just lucked out. We are not gonna have to go back up to the mountain. We're just gonna be able to use what we have. We are getting a little bit hungry. We do have these. From what I understand, meat does not expire, which is very fortunate. I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping we don't get sick or anything, but uh, all right, so we should have more than enough logs. We're gonna be able to make this pickaxe. Gonna be able to make this hatchet here. I feel like I'm making some, some goblin metal or something. And then we're gonna be able to make a spear. Let's go ahead and construct this as well. And it looks like it might want us to construct the next upgrade on our, our thing, which means we are gonna have to go back to the mountain. We're gonna need two iron ingots and four bones. I think we might, oh, the bones are from the other humans that we fought. I think we've got four bones, perfect. So we just need to go, go get more iron. Gonna put our crafting materials away here. We don't need these currently. It auto upgraded our pickaxe, our hatchet. Also gonna put our old stone tools away because we aren't gonna be needing those anytime soon. We're gonna be able to put our, uh, our new iron tools on here. Beautiful, all right. Back to the mountains we go. Look at this upgrade, man. This thing looks great. Look at those sharp edges. I'm impressed. First time working with iron. Our craftsmanship is a 10 out of 10. Obviously, our spear is going to be doing more damage now, too. I'm really tempted, like I said, to get that, um, the what's it called? The leather armor on everything. But I also, I feel like we're advancing so fast. Is it really worth it? Do we need it right now? I, eh. It can't hurt. It's just the, the leather armor is kind of tough to make. You got to go kill dinosaurs, which is no easy feat, and it's its own and then you also have to get salt and tan it and everything so if we could make some iron clothing that might be a little bit better okay we're gonna warp back to our our base here we should be able to finish this up let's add some more iron ore hit that bellow and then we're gonna need to go grab our water skins oh wow the iron tools i don't think they make it any faster they're just way more efficient look at how many logs we're getting just from a couple swipes on trees that's huge all right so we got more logs we got more ore Hit our bellow, pour some water on it, and we got an iron ingot. We grab our bones here. Feel bad that we had to take down some humans to be able to get that done, but, it, you know, all in the name of, of moving forward in our life here. We're going to craft the iron time travel device. This new upgrade will allow us to go even further forward in time. Grab our uh, little pickaxe here. Going to upgrade this thing from stone to iron. We are forging our way forward through the sands of time. And we now have a new time travel device with a new era, the Egypt era, baby. All right, is that where it wants us to go? Bring some food, a handy iron hatchet, a sharp iron spear, and full 
Leather armor, it says. Okay, so we're, we're definitely going to want to want to upgrade our armor. What are we going to need to be able to make the armor? Two dinosaur leather, two dinosaur leather, two dinosaur leather. So we're going to need six leather and a bunch of fiber. We've got four leather right now. We've got a bunch of hide. What do we need? We need... How do we make dinosaur leather again? We needed salted dinosaur hide. So to make salted dinosaur hide, we just need salt and water skins. We're good to go. I hear something walking don't you dare don't you I, I got an iron spear and i'm not afraid to use it honestly it probably wouldn't be a bad idea we are looking a little bit hungry i might go take him on this is probably a really bad idea but let's let's find out that's right oh i thought he was running from me the good news is if we die we die we died okay we're gonna spawn back in around our death location i'm gonna go grab our stuff take it all come on I got unlimited health and I got a base right next to me. That's right. You don't want to mess with me, baby. He gives us the most meat out of anything. All right. I'm going to fire up the barbie. Need some logs. Always run out of fuel for the fire. But we're going to fire this thing up so we have some extra food. Love that we've been so organized here. We're going to grab our water skins. We're going to grab our salts. And then we should be able to make some more of this salted dinosaur hide. Wrong thing. We want to go to this one first. Fill up these water skins. Should be able to make more of this salted dinosaur hide. We've got we've got six now. That's all we need. Okay. We're looking a little bit low on salt, unfortunately, but we're going to be okay. I'm going to put our di uh, dinosaur hide we're going to throw in here. Let's turn this salted dinosaur hide into leather. So it's just going to take a little bit of time there. We can drop everything else back off. We've got raw meat we're going to want to cook. We're going to put our water skins back in here. These we can save. Dinosaur leather we want to keep cooked animal meat we're going to keep in here just waiting on these things to go once we have six leather we're going to be able to uh be able to make our, our items oh we're going to need fiber aren't we so let's come back and grab some fiber we're going to have a, a little bit more than what we need i think but that's that's fine in case we ever want to upgrade later so let's take all of our items now we're going to be able to come back here we already have the leather chest plate so we're going to make the boots we're going to make the helmet and we're going to make the pants and we're going to be able to put these on uh, on our guy. And that's going to hopefully... I, I don't see that it raises our health or stamina or anything. But I'm imagining we're going to take less damage on the incoming attacks going forward. So we've got full leather armor. We've got some snacks. Could probably pick up a little bit more. Going to take all this cooked meat. I say we cook the rest of what we have here. And then honestly, I kind of feel like the best thing that we eat is berries. They stack up to 100. They take up hardly any weight. So I'm just going to run around and grab some berries. I lied. They only stack to 50, but we've got a, a solid amount here. I'm feeling good about it. So bam, there it is. Fully upgraded tools. We've got plenty of food. And that, I mean, technically is, is all that we need, right? So I'm going to go ahead and save. Who knows what's coming up ahead here. And we are going to head to the Egypt era. We're getting close to completing this quest line. We're going to see what happens here. New unlocks useful for this era. Open the tech tree to see what to do next. Timely upgrade is complete. Use the charge of time to combine with the winds. Build a boat that takes us swiftly across the dunes. What the fudge is this? Oh my God, we got giant sand. What the fudge? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? How do I, how do I, how do I? Ah! Get me out of this. Oh my God, there's multiple. There's multiple. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. I need, I need to, to, we need to make a riverboat. We need planks. Okay. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. Uh, primitive era. Holy cow. It didn't tell me I needed to bring planks. <sighs> Dude, this game, you just, you, you never know what to expect. I think we should, we need 30 planks. We've got 90 here. How do you take a certain amount? Split, split 30. Beautiful. Leave 61 behind. Now we're going to use this to be able to make a boat when we get there. Hopefully we don't die. All right, Trev, be smart. Crafting menu, boat. You're going to have to make the boat. So crafting menu, boat, pickaxe. And then we're going to be able to use the sands of time to, to sail, it says. So we'll see what happens. All right. R river boat? Dunes boat. Dunes boat here. Okay. What? Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. We need 250 logs. Okay, uh, back, 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 back. Back to the primitive era. Holy cow, so we need 250 logs. Gonna drop our planks back here. Unfortunately, riverboat and dunes boat are not interchangeable. 
Dune's boat's going to take a little bit longer to get the 250, but we do have the iron tools now, so it should make it a little bit quicker. And I feel bad for these trees. They survived for so long just for some asshat from the future with a time travel device to come down and, you know, take them out. Just really, really sad. Overweight and we can't sprint. This is going to be a long process here, but it's going to be fine. So we're going to get there and we're not going to be able to move. We're not going to be able to dodge. We're going to have to be on our toes. We are going to have to make this boat as fast as possible and get away from the creepy worm things. Again, I just love how quickly you progress in this game, dude. Like, so many things are happening constantly. There is never a dull moment in this game. Just spawning into the Egypt era after just barely unlocking leather armor and iron tools and we're fighting futuristic Star Wars space worm looking things. Like, I, I, this is wild. So I'm gonna get us exactly 250 here. I don't know what the rhyme or reason is. It looks like the, the max thing is, is 50. I'm gonna, or, uh, I mean, 100, but then this one has 101, this one has 102, and this one has 47. So we, we should be good to go. Hopefully, we can build this fast enough. So we need the dunes boat, not the... That would have been funny if we would have built the river boat. That would have been so dumb. Okay, give me, give me the dunes boat. Make this... Holy shit, he's right on top of us. No, no, no. Why is this taking so long to build? What is happening? Just keep moving, Trev. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Oh! We're good. Go. Ride. 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 Shift to sprint. Go. We're going towards the red, the red thing. Oh, oh my god. Go, 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 go. What? There's an oasis out here. We just, we just took a lick. It's fine. Oh my god. Don't run into the trees. Dude, this thing is drifting. Wonder if you know what they do in Tokyo. Dig, dig. I don't even know how that song goes, but hopefully I did it somewhat justice. What? is going on <laughs> bro this game i just don't even know what to say this this game this is the most ridiculous game i've ever played i'm having too much fun with this every every corner is a new surprise okay we're looking all right we could i'm gonna eat some berries took took an l right there but it's fine <gasps> okay gotta stay out of reach so somehow we built a wooden boat out of logs that can rapidly move across to open desert with no sail. It's a bit peculiar, not gonna lie, but I guess, you know, we, we got time travel devices, so anything is, is possible. <sighs> okay, come on. I wasn't gonna be able to avoid him. There's something coming up in the desert here. Dude, this is so beautiful. What is this? An oasis in the middle of the desert. These guys are still trying to get us. Do I want to pick this up? Nope. There's no option to pick it up. Okay. Do I want to go in here? Oh. Was I supposed to be in the boat when I went in there? I'm not sure. Could have just made a mistake. Technology a rift to Egypt has been complete. Locate the relic, and then it looks like we're going to be able to move on to our next era. I'm just blown away, dude. Look at how beautiful this game is. I'm a little bit scared. I've seen the mummy ride. Uh, it's one of my favorite rides at Universal. I'm a little, little bit scared as to what's going to happen here. Dude, this is insane. Are we supposed to be picking up like those gra glass shards again? The, the blue? Th okay. I'm nervous. Just keep, just keep running. Trev, just run. Just run, just run. There's going to be something, right? There's going to be some sort of a, a fight. Oh, there's something on the ground up here. Dude, this is incredible. This game is just ridiculous. What is this? Am I going to awaken some spirits or something here? Am I a prisoner? Are we in the Colosseum? <laughs> Bro! Are we about to fight some Roman soul? Are you kidding me right now? All right, let me let me eat up real quick. I think we're in the Colosseum. This, is this the Colosseum? Is this? Wow. Just wow. Okay. 
Looks like they got it blocked off over there. I'm gonna come this way. What's up, fellas? How y'all doing? I always wanted to fight a gladiator. Listen, I, I, I hopefully I don't have to actually. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's a lot of you and not a lot of me. A lot of you and not a lot of me. I'm just gonna try to try to stay back and try to run when we can. You guys would not believe what I've been through. You would not be attacking me if you knew what I've been through. I've been fighting dinosaurs. I've been fighting off bears. I've been fighting all kinds of stuff, man. Come on, fellas. You guys are massive. Dude, what are your macros? What are you eating? How much protein a day? My goodness. All right, we're about to die. Go, run, run, run. I mean, I'm glad I, I brought our leather armor. These guys very clearly brought theirs. Oof, we're good. Got him down in a 1v1. That's beautiful. I saw a health bar over here. Do I have to finish him? No, we're good. Okay. There's three left. Woo! We got to play it a little bit safe here, Trev. Definitely don't want to die. I, how did we end up in the Coliseum? Why am I here? Is this... This is still the same thing. We want to... We want to find this ancient relic. Just try to get it down to a 1v1 as much as you can. Keep that health up. He missed you. Beautiful. 1v1, you're done, son. Whoo! I had to fight off a battalion of Roman soldiers. I don't even know. Which way do you want me to go? I don't even know what to say, dude. What in the fudge is happening in this game? Go this way. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get our thing out. We're gonna fight fight some, some warriors. Is this China? Got fires going. Hello! How intricate these dragons and things are. Dude, this game is, is so freaking beautiful. Is anybody here? I know probably weren't expecting this visitor. Maybe we go up the stairs over here. Explore the area to find the boss. We've got a boss that we're going to have to fight. I would imagine going upstairs is is a good direct... Oh. Hello. Bow to him. Maybe he won't want to fight. Nope, he wants to fight. Bro, what the fudge? He almost killed me in one shot. You d what? I can't do any damage to him. What do you want me to do? Yo, can we not? Can we not do this? I'm doing four damage at a time, and one attack from him kills me. Is it? Can I? Can I run past him? Can I hit Buddha's belly? Dude, he's he's coming for us. Beat the boss to continue using iron spear and dash backwards to avoid attacks. If that doesn't work. You can always lower the difficulty. I mean. If you want me to just sit here for ages, I, I can't, I couldn't move. This is an iron spear, right? It's an iron spear. We're doing four damage at a time. Ooh, we've got them locked back here. I, I think I'm just going to have to, have to spam it. We're just going to have to play it really safe and, and just, just spam it. I mean, every time he charges up, you just back up. Oh my God, he's got a nice, a nice distance on his his lunge, though. He's got Commando Pro. All right, I'm I'm gonna see you guys in about ten years when we beat this thing. This is out. He's hitting us from behind. The fact that we can just respawn and keep wailing on him is pretty epic. He's not even in range to hit us. He's jumping the opposite direction and hitting us. I mean, I'm frustrated with him, but this this has got to be even more frustrating for him. I'm just walking around, wailing on him. Oh, we got him. And then if we die, we just respawn in the same spot. China Relic obtained. Check the tech tree for the latest quest of the primitive era. There is no rhyme or reason to this game, and I absolutely love it. I love that it's all linked, but it's all also super random. So our next upgrade, we need the China Relic and an iron time travel device. So we're going to go ahead and craft this thing. Where do you guys think we're going next? It's taking a long time to build. There it is. The colonial era. 
All right, I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. This game is ridiculous. I, I think we have to make this a series. I'll see you there. Peace out.